Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Mitzi69. Welcome back to uh, another OP replays. And this time we have Brit Power. The Brit Power. We have two tier 8 tanks for you today. Both British and both absolutely amazing tanks. And the first up we have the Action X. Brilliant tank. Absolutely fantastic tank. One of my favourite tanks in the game at the moment. Probably like my third favourite tank. The second favourite premium tank after the Pajetto 46. Um, but this is up there with the Pajetto. I love them kind of equally. Uh, maybe because it's British, it's got a lovely turret, it's got lovely DPM, it's everything about this tank is absolutely amazing. And we're going to see it do absolutely amazing in this game. Now I'm going to get to the player's name as soon as possible, as soon as I see it. Um, so Middlesburg, he's gone up, which of course up is the way to go. And you can see that the enemy medium tanks are rushing down, which means that most of their heavies are probably going to be down. And the Defender Mark 1 uh, is just uh, be out, Bill, Bill, we're watching Bill. <laughs> Sorry, uh, the Defender Mark 1 actually just got taken, taken out. And the Defender Mark 1 is actually what we've got the next battle. Crazy tanks, amazing tanks. If you haven't got any of these tanks, like if they do come for sale, they're definitely worth buying. Um, the Defender Mark One, I haven't. You don't see too often. The Defender Mark One, you don't see too often in in stores. Uh, however, the Action X does come, and it will come, and it's definitely, definitely worth worth buying. And you're gonna see just after this game why you should probably buy this tank when it does come for sale. So there goes the Pajero 46 from our guy Beal. And all of a sudden, it's a four versus six. Uh, people are shooting HE because that's all they could do. Uh, there's still a tough lot of tanks to deal with. Uh, the E75 TS there. Uh, you have a couple of the heavies around on the sort of the right middle side, uh, which he is going to get, which he is going to get shot. Do apologize for that. And of course you have the, the VK there and the Lerva that was still full hit points. So there is a lot of work to do. Hell of a lot of work to do. But Bill is doing absolutely fantastic. It's a three versus six now. And now is the time to sort of fo start focusing on these tanks that you can shoot um, with your team. I mean, focus firing is what you should do now this su 101 should just keep backing up he needs to just back up back up back up and sort of bring these two tanks out to the rest of the enemy team so the best thing about the the action x of course is that dpm and the amazing turret the dpm to go with the turret is just absolutely beautiful there goes the t34 3 and now him and the tank with him can try and focus on the vk who is very low hit points but he's guy the is decides to uh to turn and go for the t44 which is a good decision uh i, I at first I, at first i thought what are you doing you, you're gonna lose the game but then uh, I, re I quickly realized that he was actually going to, to clear a tank to bring it down to a three on three so now a three on two so they have completely changed the game around um I know that Erva is still full hit points and that his two team mates are very low hit points, like one shots, but he's he's also low hit points, <laughs> but he has the DPM, as I said, and whilst they're not focusing him, the IS-3 is face hugging this Lerva. There goes the WZ, and now you can just see uh, the IS-3 pushing this Lerva all the way down. And this is great, because the IS-3 has actually stayed alive a lot longer than I-40 would be. And Bill can just farm on this Lerva. Now, who does he go for now? Does he keep going for the Lerva, or does he go for the E-75? He definitely needs to go for the Lerva, because that is the tank the IS-3 is looking at as well. Unfortunately, the IS-3 does die and it now leaves him alone against two tanks but of course he can get these bounces he has the turret and he just needs the lever to stay there he's managed to get him to a one shot but now the lever has turned the corner and the e75 ts has started coming up so he can probably take two shots uh, luckily these these two tanks don't do the massive high rolls uh, so we can probably take two shots um so it's going to take three shots to clear him and um, because of his dpm 
he could just absolutely tear these guys apart and now all of a sudden he's just without even losing a hit point any hit points against them to Amazing game, absolutely amazing game. Nice teamwork there with the IS3. Uh, 6,400 damage. He gets the ace, 147,000 credits earned as well, and a complete carry in a, an amazing, amazing tank. So, next up with the uh, Brits is the, the OP Brits is the Defender Mark 1, and we are watching 11 from the Storm Clan uh, driving on Vineyard. So Again, this tank is the four-shot auto loader uh, in the Defender series, and in my opinion, is the best defender in the game. Um, much better than any other defender. I don't know why it's got the DPM. It's basically a Centurion, um, but better. There is no reason really. The Centurion is actually quite a nice tank, uh, the Tech Tree version. But there's no reason to play it at the moment. Like there is no reason whatsoever to play the Centurion if you've got a Defender Mark One and if you've got the uh, Centurion Action X. There's just no because these are better than the Centurion in every way possible. Now the only downfall with with this tank is obviously the DPM, uh, the the long reload. It does have a four shell, a four shell auto loader, which is good considering most other defenders as such uh, sort of the three shell. Uh, but Wargaming decided to give it uh, four shells, and it does make all the difference. It is a beautiful tank. It's got a lovely turret doesn't have much hull so you do have to bear that in mind when you are going up against the enemy go hull down don't let them don't show them your uh, your your hull because you will get deleted show them that the strongest part go hull down while you're on a reload and you will do you you do well in this tank just like 11 is going to do uh, this game so he's in a decent position where he's getting shots off now unfortunately he only penned one shell against that object 252u uh, so 1500 damage nothing special two minutes gone no one's dead and it's a pretty stalemate game to be fair no one's really moving his team are all stuck around sort of the right side the enemy team are sort of opposite um, well, they've at least flanked around, uh, but they're all stuck sort of by the town area. So it's a pretty stalemate game, but Eleven is taking full advantage of that. And he's getting, he's the only one that's really pushed forward. And because of that, he's actually going to get side shots. He's going to get shots off on the enemy team whilst they're not really paying attention to him because there are other tanks that are close by for them to shoot. So he's going to focus the most dangerous target, which is the Object 252U. Uh, a shot there that goes was able against the uh, the bulldog and now they have started to lose some tanks there's one tank down it's only taken two and a half minutes uh, for a tank to uh, to for a tank to die and now he can go and focus on this panther who is at very very low hit points that shot again went a bit able the su-152 dies and because he died he's actually going to get very 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 ragey uh, because he pretty much dies so there goes the uh, the panther uh, 11 manages to take the panther out there's a t-34 coming so he's going to get the hell out of there now i actually love what he's doing here he is he's not looking at staying uh, the t-34 has got fantastic penetration and whilst he's in the position he's at it's not really great for a tank like this he needs hills he needs dunes he needs to go hold down not on a flat surface like this and this is why he's actually ignoring that t-34 now again he could have stayed he could have stayed because there is a TD that uh, there is another tank that is there helping, uh, but he decides to leave the T-34 and go for other tanks. Now that was unfortunate. Uh, he didn't aim that shot on the T-32, so he could have cleared him, uh, but unfortunately left him on a one shot for his team to uh, to clear instead. So he's on now 3,600 damage. It's a four versus four, and the uh, there's still a lot of hit points to go. Uh, I don't know what this chat is on about lavender question mark like they just they're just talking shit so again he's going to ignore the object 252u and go for the tank that he can actually clear with his full magazine and that is the is3 so one shell left he is a one shot is he going to get the kill just about gets the kill and it is now a four versus two and there's going to be three tanks on this object 252u so he's just getting out of the way while he's on a reload again there's no point taking shots it could still easily be uh, a loss this game 
and especially when no one is actually penning the object 252U. Uh, he is now reloaded, so he's going to get three shells. Unfortunately, doesn't quite get the fourth shell, and now it's the uh, just the four versus one, and he's now going to go back to deal with the T-34, who, who we left with the, I think, the T-49 earlier, and the T-49 hasn't even done nothing to this T-34, literally nothing. Now, unfortunately for 11, he has to start shooting APCR because he's only got one AP shell left. So, of course, when you reload an auto loader, if you reload the AP, uh, the AP, it will only reload one shell, and then he'll have to do a full reload again. So, he's going to reload with the APCR, and he's just going to carry on shooting. Now, when he's got one shell left, he could actually switch to the last remaining AP uh, and then go on to reload, and maybe he would have got more damage. Uh, but nevertheless he's done a fantastic job two kills one and a half minutes left on the clock he's going to reload his magazine again uh, just about and he's going to get sort of one he's going to get two I think he's going to get three shells into this guy maybe four is he going to get the fourth just about gets his fourth and then the uh, the panther does take him out so absolutely great fantastic play there from both of these british tanks amazing tanks and yeah definitely brit power 6200 damage nice amount of credits nice amount of xp and a lovely lovely carry there so thank you guys for coming make sure you hit that subscribe button for more future videos uh, support the channel it's what i love to do i love to uh, to give you guys some uh, content Hope you enjoyed it. I'm Midzi, and I'll catch you all soon. Bye-bye.